Spider-Man cakes. So today we are taking three different Spider-Men, Miles Morales, Peter Parker, and Gwen Stacy, and we're gonna turn them to three easy cakes. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Koali Pops. My name is Tom Holland. It's good to be back making videos on YouTube. If you haven't already noticed, I had to take a short break and I built this new studio and moved into a new house. It took two months longer than I thought it would, but it was well worth it. <sighs> he needs a little bit of attention, so I'm gonna have him in the video for a little bit. So today we are making three Spider-Man cakes using my egg shape mold. I love this, I've talked about it before. It's discontinued, but it's by Wilton, so I'm thinking of starting like a change.org petition so that they bring this back. If you can't find this, there are silicone egg molds on Amazon. They're not the same, so I'm sorry, but they still work. Okay, I'm gonna put them down now. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so excited, it's my first video back. Now to create my Spider-Man cake, I'm using a vanilla cake that I marveled with blue food coloring. <laughs> oh my God, that was a big shake mochi. The last couple months I've been really experimenting with marble cakes. I love the way they look when you've got like this really rich color going up and swirling into like just vanilla cake. So I did that with all three of these cakes. Now this is perfect for Spider-Man cakes because it really lends itself to the Spider-Man mask. I did however have to shave this down a little bit because I wanted their faces to be a little bit more round and a little less oval. Mochi, that's cat food, you can't eat that. Don't eat that. Mochi, God. you got diabetes. You can't eat that. So I gave it the same basic shape, but I had to carve away a little bit at the bottom and a little bit at the top to make it more round. I gave my cake a crumb coat and then I added my first layer of fondant. Look how easy that was. See, Wilton, that's why you need to take this mold and you need to bring it back with some new packaging so people can buy it and make cakes like these. Wilton's, you're missing out on a whole bunch of money. So I covered my entire cake with red fondant, worked my fondant tools around the cake to create a nice edge, and then added some Spider-Man eye shapes. You can totally print some out from Google Images. There are a ton of different types because Spider-Man has so many different costume variations. So we got two eyes going on, and then I decided to create the black spider webs on his mask with royal icing. I was gonna do this with fondant. I think I've done that before. But you know what? It's just too hard, and I'm lazy and this was really easy. Now after I added the black webbing, I added white fondant to create the rest of Spider-Man's eyes and voila, my cake was done. Oh my gosh, look at that, I'm holding it. Oh my gosh, that's my favorite shot. I think I'm gonna continue doing that. Just holding the cake and then revealing my beautiful face. Look at that, oh I love it. <laughs> You're gonna be seeing a lot more of that. Now let's move on to my next Spider-Man cake. Um, now for this cake, I'm using my egg shape mold. I marbled my vanilla cake with some chocolate cake that I dyed black. This one I think looks the most appetizing because it reminds me of like cookies and cream. That's my favorite flavor. Have you guys ever tried cookies and cream shrimp? Let me tell you, it's a terrible idea. I don't like the marble on this cake. <laughs> Oh man, it tasted good, but the marble could have been better. I'm improving, you guys. Now for this cake, I made him even a little bit more round than the Peter Parker Spider-Man cake I made because I wanted it to be a little bit more youthful. Miles Morales is supposed to be younger, right? Now when you're looking for eye shapes for Spider-Man and you look on Google Images, every artist has a very different interpretation of what Spider-Man's eye shape should look like. I really tried to sort through them and make eye shapes that were specific to that version of Spider-Man. Now to make my life easy, I'm using red royal icing to create the Miles Morales spider web. I added some white to finish Miles Morales' eyes and voila, my cake was complete. Bam, look at that shot again. Reveal that face, reveal that gorgeous face. Look at that, I love it. <laughs> Now we got one Spider-Man left to go, or should I say Spider-Woman? Spidey Gwen, Gwen Stacy. I love the Spidey Gwen design. I, it just looks fabulous. Now we're starting off with my egg-shaped cake, but I created a pink marble on the inside of this cake and it looks okay. 
It could be better. These, all of three of these cakes need a lot more color. Now I cut my cake in half, added buttercream, did all that good stuff. I cut away a lot at the top, I think. I gave this a crumb coat, added white fondant to my entire cake got some nice clean edges and then pulled away the excess. Now initially this looks like a simpler cake because you're not adding any of the spider webs on the mask, but it's not, it's a little bit hard. So first we're adding spidey eyes. We got Gwen Stacy pink eyes going onto the cake. Simple, simple, just like the other two. But then you gotta take away that cake and you gotta make a hood because Spidey Gwen has this really nice hood um, and the spider webs are on the inside. So I laid down some pink fondant in the shape of a hood and then I started to create the spider web. I had to create the spider web on her hood with fondant because I was gonna be moving the fondant and I knew that the royal icing would harden a lot quicker. So it wouldn't have given me a lot of time to play with the fondant and work with the rest of the cake. Added my Gwen Stacy face on top and then put on the top of the hood. Now I worked the white fondant underneath the pink so that it looks like a complete hood. I gave my hood a nice clean edge, pulled away the excess fondant. After that, my Spidey Gwen cake was complete. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous face. Damn, what's your number? You single? <laughs> I had a lot of fun making these cakes. These were the first three cakes that I created in this studio. Now I'm gonna be making one more Spider-Man cake. Actually, I think I have three now that I think about it. <laughs> Spider-Man related cakes. I'm gonna be making the Green Goblin next and it turned out, I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> Good or bad, it'll be posted and you can see what I did wrong and then you can improve when you try it out. Now, let's talk. Spider-Man because I loved this movie. I, it's better than Endgame. Endgame has a really cool final battle scene. Okay, okay, we'll keep coming. So Endgame has this really cool final battle scene, but I think the story that they tell in No Way Home is just far more emotional. I cried so many times and I wanna to talk to you about all the times I cried, but then I don't wanna spoil the movie. Now I'm curious, what did you think of Spider-Man No Way Home and do you think it's as good as Endgame? You're stepping on my keyboard and spelling out nonsense on my screen, watch. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoy my new set. I can't wait to shoot more stuff. I love you guys, I'll see you very soon. Bye. Say bye, Mochi. Bye.